The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. It feels like It's better, it's better with you My life It's better, it's better with you This is true It's better, it's better with two My life It's better with you Hello Everybody and welcome to my brother, my brother, main advice show for the modern era. Me, I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. And I'm your middlest, most balanced brother, Travis McElroy. Our God Whoa. is an awesome wow. God. He reigns Not where from I thought, heaven what? above. He was with oh, right. wisdom, power, okay. and stuff. Our God is an awesome God. It's so, me, Griffin McElroy, God's favorite. Griffin's uh, trying to undo the power of episode 666. The, de- the devil is always coming for us. The devil is always what trying. What number? Is this 666 right now? Yes, and the yeah. devil is, and a lot of people are probably listening to this feeling like, should I skip this episode? Because it may be the devil trying to trick me, uh, trying to get me to do bad stuff, trying to cuss, trying to sex. And I'm here to say that, one, I'm going to try to create a safe space for you to be in and give you a little bit of grace, literally. Some, some grace. equally, yeah, equally yoked area yeah. here. Because yeah. the, the devil is trying to trick me on this one is trying to trick a me on this one. Yeah, but little does he, I have my own trick oh. for him, which is that I have my armor of faith and my shield of of righteousness and yeah. my sword. My I was sword about to give it to you and I knew you'd find of it. Of Jesus okay. and my helmet of purity and my belt of chastity yep. and my pauldrons of, of Ezekiel. Yeah, and your it's his ten skin. rings and my ten rings. And ten each rings, incredible. Each one of my Jesus. ten rings has a holy enchantment on it. This and one lets Iron me do Man fire. Suit. This it's one, just... this one gives me an even more shield of faith. Now, what I've built here, I've built myself an exoskeleton kind of thing out of cool. the, out of the bones of a saint I dug up. Oh, oh wow, cool. which one? Uh, it's kind of a combination, <laughs> Saint Bernard. <laughs> now, what Joseph, what Joseph said is better than what I was going to say. So, Saint Bernard, <laughs> Tra- it's the bones of Beethoven. I yeah, dug out the dog the to play Beethoven on an online auction, and he built armor out of it. And so now, when the devil comes to him to try to trick him or kill him, yeah. Travis can be like. Uh, I don't think so. And then the devil is like, is that dog bones? And you're like, not any dog bones. Famous hey, dog bones. Famous dog bones. And he's like, whoa, Benji? And I'm like, you think fucking no, no, no. Benji would fit on this frame? Look at how big frame? the bones are, devil. And he's like, I'm so oh, stupid so today. Oh, my God. Sorry. Just if I, oh, if my head wasn't screwed in, <laughs> I'd lose that. I, I'm just having one of those brain fart days. I got a yeah. newborn back at home and I'm not sleeping great. Maybe 666 is the episode where we should just get rippled because i've got some jokes about things happening in the headlines whoa that might be a little bit too edgy let me ask the big man jesus i'm trying i'm trying to stay prayed up okay okay but it's like really good but it's like i'm trying to stay prayed up right now it's about the sub thing and it's like yeah yeah yeah. no i'm sure you have some really funny stuff about the people dying but (laughs) hey guys yeah it's a killer and i'm here's the thing well yeah i think can I talk about the subject? No, for a Justin, you it's can't. Because it's 666. We're getting. Can I we're pray getting, like, while you do it? Just <laughs> cancel it out. Silently. Okay. You know how comedy is tragedy plus time? Yeah. I'm really afraid that a, a, a bunch of rich people go down to see the Titanic. I'm afraid that that flip is going to happen so fast. Yeah. I might be asleep and miss it. And yeah. everybody's going to do all the good jokes mm-hmm. and I'll have missed it. And that's my concern. It'll be a it'll be a non standard number, whatever the it result of that equi- short, equation <laughs> is. Be, uh, this will be on like house flippers. They're it'll gonna be, be like it's a quick flip. I'm yeah. saying that the the comedy is tragedy plus time equation. The result of that 
is going to be factored out to like the hundredths place yeah. because it's yeah. not going to be a very big number because the can amount of I, time is going to be so short before that thing really turns. Can I just tell you guys my joke and Rachel can cut it out of the show, but you guys will enjoy yeah. the joke. Yeah, yeah. I love the this. show. Okay, I love okay. okay, here comes the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a really good joke. It's good. It's really just, good. Yeah. We've been this talking is, about a time to do a heel turn, by the way, and if it's not 666, I don't know what it is. Thank you. That's all I'm Thank saying, you. Travis. You get oh, it. I just heard back from the big man. He said no, actually. He doesn't ah, like that. Damn it. He doesn't like it. Oh, I sorry. Will. Um, I did a curse, Griffin. I apologize. You can cuss. He loves that. He thinks oh, that's yeah? funny. Yeah, that's just Fuck. words. Yeah. Hey, um, thank, and I guess thanks to the devil. For getting us this far. Yeah, man. That uh, deal has paid out big time. I don't think so. I feel like I did a different deal oh. with the good side. Maybe that's how we've been keeping things in balance, which is different deals to everybody. I yeah. was going to say a thing about the solstice, by the way, but it was yeah. past. Hey, yeah. happy, happy, happy uh, summer. Happy, uh, the, finally, our uh, year theme is appropriate. <laughs> yeah, don't waste months it. Have begun. Don't waste this. This chance. Don't waste it. Um, This is an advice show. Okay. All right. And what we do is we take your questions and turn them out. We like into wisdom. This is, oh man, just seeing the number there in my email is scary like, stuff. Scary chilling. stuff, gang. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, um, Justin, if you don't forward that email to 10 people, <laughs> be careful. I'm throwing a party with my roommates and I've invited around 20 to 30 people. Wow. You know 20 to 30 people? Is that Maybe a wedding? Spread around. Are, you, are you throwing spread. a wedding? Yeah. yeah that's that's so gotta be it. Uh, my roommate suggested we make hot dogs. Oh. As a snack. Hot dogs as a snack? Uh, okay, wait. Hold on. We're going to get back to the email in a second, but hot dogs is a meal. Uh, just a snack dog, huh? Are you sure? <laughs> we Now, uh, like, you could make them and then cut them into like thirds and stick a toothpick in it and you have a third of a bun, bun, right? Yeah. No, it's a, a hot dog. A uh, that's it's a in hot a hot dog slider. A hot dog slider. A hot dog is slider is what that that's is. That's an yeah. open face pig in a blanket. <laughs> yeah, it's an open face pig in a blanket. Uh, cocktail Franks, like mom used to make with the the Franks red hots with the, wrapped in bacon. Like choice. That, so choice. That's yeah, but they don't make choice. Co- they don't make cocktail buns for those, though, which I think is fucked they up. They should. That'd be cute. I guess you could just use a little pasta. Little, little red Smokies, not Franks red. Franks red hot is a hot sauce. That's little hot. red Smokies. That's what yeah. I was thinking about with the the bacon. Red. Oh man, do they still make little red Smokies? Anyway. Hot dogs is a snack, which I heartily agree to. I come home to get ready and see 64 hot dogs in buns stacked up on three different trays throughout the party. Oh, one of the 20 people we invited is Joey Chestnut. Yeah, right? 64 hot dogs. 64 hot dogs? You fucked up. (laughs) It's near the end of the party, and there are still easily 40 hot dogs. Yeah. (laughs) I'm also throwing a two-day Fast and Furious marathon tomorrow. Do I suggest everyone eat hot dogs? You must. If we provide, if we eat one per movie, we will eat them. <laughs> you gotta finish you it. Math it out. Like you gotta that. finish like, it. You, it's like a the kid the, the yellow fever episode of Pete and Pete, where the kid's like measuring out his sandwiches, so he eats exactly yeah. the, the right number of the. You, if you eat one per movie, we'll eat them all by the end of the marathon. So my question is, brothers, do I let sleeping dogs lie? Or force the Frankenfurters on my Fast and Furious friends. That's from Hot Hot Dom Toretto. Hey, two parties in a row. That's that is that's exhausting. Now I bet I can I bet I can tell you your birthday to the month based on that information. Now I bet you I can tell you your age to the month. To be fair, it's one hot dog per movie, right? And there's forty left. There's ten of those bad boys out. Means there's only four people there watching the thing. I don't know if four people watching over the course of two days, with all ten Fast and Furious counts but as a party. So much as it is gonna, a challenge. You're not gonna get. I can't imagine being in the middle of like fate and be like, I think I could go for eight hot dog in two days. <laughs> I yeah. think I'm gonna have another. This is one an of those. interesting so, thing okay. that I would love to flesh out on a on a sort of competitive level. Which is, we all love to watch these big men eating as They're many hot all. dogs as they can you in 10 minutes. You mean all, everybody on the call or everybody in Earth? In the hot dog eating contest, Joey Chestnut, the others, the other hot dog eaters. Listen, 
I, I love to you watch big men like watching Fast and the Furious, Griffin. I, I do love that right. too. Okay. I would love to watch them eat hot dogs for sure. Are you kidding me? Ludicrous eating as many hot dogs as he can. Yeah, I think I would like that. Thank you. Yeah, I would too. Um, but we all love watching these big people eat ten hot do- as many hot dogs as they can in 10 minutes. My question is, how many hot dogs can a human body sustain in a 48-hour period? A sort of, instead mm. of a hot dog eating sprint, more of a hot dog eating marathon. See, yeah. this That's is the science we're getting into. If Joey may, doesn't have the guts for that. No. I was going to go a different direction. Because basically, think about it this way. Two-hour movie, you're eating one hot dog every two hours. Yeah. If you put it like that, it's not that big of a challenge. That's what I'm saying. I'm not endorsing sort of cramming cram it, you know, to an unhealthy degree. Right. Because you wouldn't want to be sick. Like, if you cram so many hot dogs in the first hour that you get sick, and then yeah. you can't eat hot dogs for a couple hours, you're losing time. This is about this is about pacing yourself yeah, and doing what's best for your body uh, so that you can make it all 48 hours. Do you sleep? Or well, do you, you just have hot the, dog energy power you? Like you're only engine. watching 10 movies in 48 hours, unless the movies are 4.8 hours long. Okay, I that's mean, interesting. I say, t- towards the end, they start to feel that way. They do. I mean, they get, get a little rambunctious Let's say, of those run times. I would guess then. The, the 10... Fast and the Furious movies, if you add them together, would be about 24 hours. So let's limit it to 24. If you crammed all these into one day, mm-hmm, could okay. you, could, how many do you think you could jam? Ten, I, 10 dogs I, in 24 hours? Easily. 10 dogs in 24 hours is not even a fucking question, of course, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah, you, I can, eat 10 can dogs I get, hours. can we get 20 in there? Mm. In 24 hours. That's sun, mm. sun up to sun down. And be, you know what I mean? I think tw- 20 to me feels like pushing it. Twenty to me feels like too many hot dogs. I think that I do like sixteen, especially because can I can I hit you with something, Griff? The situation that you have ginned up for yourself uh-huh. means that at some point it will be five forty five a.m. Yeah, in that yeah. twenty four, you can't avoid it. At some point, it'll be five forty five a.m. and you're gonna be staring out the barrel of one of those tube <laughs> steaks, and I'm not sure you're gonna want to <laughs> tangle with it. Right I mean, then. if you started, okay, wait, you start six a.m. To midnight, you got eighteen hours, right? It's a twenty. Maybe you have one at twelve oh one. Go to bed, right? Then you wake up at six oh one. Six hours later, you're still in the twenty four hour window. You got nineteen dogs to go. Nineteen no, dogs at eighteen hours. You're watching hours. the Fast wait. and Furious movie. And, but wait, but listen, but listen, you can't sleep. No, because here's the thing I'm thinking about. Not now. when these are on screen. This is what I'm thinking about now, Juice. Could okay. you eat one hot dog an hour? I think I could eat one hot dog an hour. But you, your body is, you're, you're imagining you at noon. Uh-huh. <laughs> hungry for dogs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The you that is there at noon, hungry for dogs. Yeah. yeah no question. Now, yeah. also, I'm saying oh, there's a 4 a.m. version of you. It's like, guys, I can't do another. I can't do I it, see guys. The, I see I'm the divide. Yards. I see the divide here, Griffin. Physically, yes, I agree. Griffin physically could eat one hot dog an hour. What Justin's yes. talking about is psychologically, emotionally. You're yeah. on, you're be at the time of day, maybe 4 a.m., or just like dog number yeah. like 16, and you're like, fuck this, right? Fuck it's this, like, actually. yeah, there's room, but I look at that dog and I see every hardship I've ever faced in my life staring down at me in hot dog form. I am also not sure there's room because like, I I don't want to get too deep in my own sort of health intestinal health journey. I don't know that I void one hot dog an hour on average. <laughs> an hour, an hour. Actually, gang, that's a lot. Now yeah. that I'm thinking about it that way, that is a lot. <laughs> Especially if it's all you eat. If there's no roughage in there, oh no. I can definitely I'm, do I twelve. Want... I think we can definitely ten. I think definitely twelve. One every two hours, definitely. 14 to 16, I think, is going to be the range. Where I, I don't want to get all sciencey Bill and I on you, but if you consume 24 hot dogs, you will avoid 24 hot dogs. There is just no way around it. <laughs> Not all of it. I will turn some of it into more Griffin. You know, yeah. that's how that works, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 More hot dog watching energy for the, the lucky, Fast and Furious the lucky, The lucky sodiums and chemicals and amino acids floating around in those beautiful tubes, those are going to become Griffin. The how rest long, I hate. How long do you uh, think, because we replace our skin cells and stuff all the time, how long do you think Griffin would have to eat only hot dogs before Griffin's entirety is basically is made hot of dog, hot dog? Hot dog based, yeah. I Well, there's, he'd make vitamin D from the sun. So ah, damn it. Factors. Yeah. There's so many ways to get vitamins they don't tell you about. Yeah. 
Can uh, I can I just throw this out one last thing? Question asker, mm -hmm. maybe make it a Cario Mart situation where you can only eat when they're eating in the movie. And I oh. think what you'll find is roundabout movie three or four, it's gonna get real challenging. Yeah. I think at that point, their bodies stop requiring the sustenance and they're just drinking gasoline when they fill their cars up. So you that basically, they're more in tune with their cars. You get cars. the one cookout scene at the yeah. end of each movie that you're just yeah. probably gonna look forward to. You're gonna see <laughs> fucking. <laughs> you're gonna see Ludacris at the grill, just like grilling up some, uh, you, you know, some steaks. And you're gonna be like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Luda's doing it. He's doing it. I already did that during the Fast and Furious season with the bathroom breaks. Like, I have to wait until Dom's like, I gotta go take a shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's like five, five minutes where nothing happens on screen. So, should, yeah. we start, should we make a plan? No, wait for him to come back. Okay. These hot dogs, I gotta say, the other thing you guys are not, you are not thinking about here, and it's an essential detail. The hot dogs have been made. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The hot dogs have been made and are in the bun, okay? Uh -huh. And then they're going back in the bag, or uh, right? And Somewhere. Some kind of in a container of some sort. And into the fridge. Thank God, please. S so the next day, you're not gonna be eating like- Good hot dogs. Fresh off the grill, <laughs> you, yeah. know, you know, brioche bun style, <laughs> you know, the one perfect line of mustard. Like, it's not happening. No, no, no. You're going to eat a gummy, weird <laughs> dog, and you're going to eat 10 of them. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, guys. And, and as know. time goes on, we're all, this is over 48 hours. So by the time you get to the 10th dog, they're two it's days older, older than they yeah. were. <laughs> These they're hot dogs are older than like, they've ever been, and now they're even older. Guys, they've gotten really even. comfortable in the refrigerator. They have their own, like, yeah, just put me back in my slot. I can't even, I can't even heat these up anymore, guys. It's just, what's the fucking God, point? I don't know what's wrong with me. I mean, I do. It's a lot. But I, I would, I would... Just murder for a hot dog right murder now. Murder a dog. Right <laughs> yeah, man. And not, I would not like a mind. fancy broad or whatnot. Give me an oh. Oscar Mayer wiener. Oscar Mayer some... wiener in a bun. Maybe oh, ketchup okay. just to lube things no, up a I bit. Want the, the I want that mustard and a little bit of relish. I want to get down to hillbilly hot dogs, maybe. Oh, fun. no, that's too fancy for me right now. Give me a Sam's okay. hot dog. Give me a Stewart's. Is Frost oh, Top oh, still I'm, open? I'm get, get my ass out to Lee Sage. Get me some hillbilly hot dogs. Yeah, man. All right. Hey, you guys want to have some hot dogs while we're in Richmond and Raleigh? <laughs> yeah, very badly so. This a wizard uh, was sent into us by Brendan. Thanks, Brendan. It's um, uh, it is how, it's how to start cursing. So let's be careful. Let's tread lightly on this one. Um, cursing has been around since Roman times. That's hard to believe. I feel fuck like us. It, fuck us is good. <laughs> I feel like cavemans definitely had like a thing they, a sound they made that they all made when they saw like a saber toothed tiger coming at them or a big dinosaur coming. Yeah, at them there was a certain grunt that you knew meant like, oh shit. Yeah, like. Well, that's <laughs> no, the sorry, home that's Tim man. Allen. Yeah. yeah, but maybe <clears throat> he did. Oh, that man's grunts as versatile as his politics. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Uh, with that kind of longevity, it's safe to say that swearing serves a purpose. Psycholingu yeah. Psycholinguists have n noted that taboo words communicate emotional information through more effectively than conventional language. Man, you got to be careful. Us. Don't let a psycholinguist in your house. No. Oh, man, they're They have hurt. to be invited, though. Um, so, step one, build a repertoire of curse words. Board, wards. Wards. Draw up a list of curse words. Uh, divide the list into three parts. Begin your list with the most powerful swears. Finish with the most benign. Although swearing is a spontaneous act, a database of swear words will better prepare you to swear. Great. That's Wait, easy. But that seems weird. I would start with the most benign and build up. That's true. You don't want to. You don't want to hurt yourself if you've never cussed before. You don't want to start with like. You want to start with like bastard, and you want to do it. Oh, like, but you think about bastard's the most benign? Okay. Wait. Let me ask you this. Yeah, sure. Where do you put ass on the on the line? So low. It's benign, right? You can say that and then be like, sorry, I mean donkey. And then people can't say anything because ass is in the Bible. Yeah, sorry, I'm protecting myself with it. It's my armor, my sword and shield, my helmet, my chastity belt, but it's got the it has some swears in it, and one of them's ass. Yeah. So Listen, you tell my me, chastity bet, belt also covers my ass. You know what I, I mean? I bet you bad it says bastard in the Bible. Probably oh, somewhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, Probably. just because it's an old word and it's an old book. Um, 
but yeah, Trav, that's a good point. You don't want to start with an F or an S because that could that could you're not going to do it right. Especially if you've never cursed around your friends and it's been like they've all been cursing and you haven't and it's noticeable, yeah. right? And then yeah. just one day you're like, man, that fucking teacher, right? Yeah. They're gonna like, they're gonna get whiplash doing a double. Take. It's gonna be. Although I will say this, Rachel almost never cusses, which makes oh, really? it re which makes it when she does cuss, it hits like a tactical smart missile. Wish, it is so good every single time. I will yeah. never be, I I have already worked up such a debt. I yeah. have accrued such a terrible swearing debt that there is no, unless I went like fully like Aramite for 10 years and then came back down from the wilderness and was just like, ass! <laughs> like there's no comparison. I, I made a realization recently, you know, those like goofy sounds that primarily I think are associated that dads make, but I think any parent can make them where they're like, oh, uh, oh, oh, when something goes wrong, right? You're dropping something, you trip on something. Yeah. And like for me, what I realized is those sounds are my, there's kids around version of fuck, <laughs> right? Yeah, where it's like yeah. I drop something and I want to say fuck, but there's a child near me. So I just go, whoa, whoops, almost dropped uh -oh. it, right? And it makes me sound so like uh, down homie, daddy, but I'm really just going, fuck, <laughs> I yeah. dropped the fucking cup. It's a, mid ah. it's a Midwest fuck. Um, facial <laughs> repertoire, not only on meaning, but on sound. Sound conveys meaning and sometimes renders emotion clearer than a word which has literal meaning, like Travis has just said. Um, I probably could have skipped this one. I feel like Travis covered it. Although it does bring up the good point that like most swears are interjections and it's hard to do a two syllable one of those. That's why I like bastard because it's, you know, you get like kiss, ass, shit, but you don't have like a shit it. You don't I have would a lot say of those. I would make damn it into one word. Damn it. The way that yeah. it's used, right? Damn yeah. it. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's start getting into some of the reasons why you might want to do a cuss. Swear for pain. Yeah, ah. you're activating the fight or flight response, which leads to a surge of adrenaline and an analgesic effect. So when I say when I hit my finger with a hammer and I yell, Piss! that's for my health. Yeah. I'm doing that to make the finger hurt less. Yeah, you let the um, pain out. Cursing is just weakness leaving the body. You know what and I mean? And the, the article does provide this helpful stuff. Use your A list for pain swears because oh, oh. that has the most sort of. Ass. Pain soothing effect. Asshole. A oh, fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Astard. Ah, um, uh, real monsters. Ah, uh, real monsters. Curse to take control. When you're faced with a bad situation, swear. It can give you a sense of power and control rather hey, than a feeling. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Fuck. This is Are, mine now. Oh, the no, show's it's Travis's, mine. Now it's Travis is the captain. You can now. curse. You can curse. Uh, cursing helps your. your uh, Pain tolerance. I, yeah. I heard about you put your. They did a study where people were putting their hands in the ice bucket, and then they took it out when it's like too much. Can't do it. But if you put your hands in the ice bucket and then you start fucking cursing like crazy, you could keep your hands in there longer. That's Justin, so good. When you say study, do you mean episode of MythBusters that that was on? No, it was a scientific study. Uh huh. On MythBusters, <laughs> based, inspired by. <laughs> <laughs> Allah, yeah, vis a vis in the, in the, in the style of, of <laughs> in the style of MythBuster, <laughs> a sort of MythBuster's scientific pastiche. Yeah, if you I will. think it like, memory serves the myth remained unbusted. I think it was a great myth that they said was not a myth. Actually, they they have said done it on this the myth is solid. It's Justin was Travis reading text Adam. Justin was <laughs> right now and just asked Justin, if he remembers that. Justin is reading actually a double blind scientific study called MythBusters Busters, and it's where they sort of double check the work that they the good work that they do there. That's now that study doesn't even exist. I think that's part of the myth MythBusters Busters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, swear to replace violence with verbal retribution. Now this, oh, I, yeah. now this I can the get into. The pen doth mightier than the sword. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so, uh, it was swearing allows you to respond forcibly to other people's offenses without resorting to physical violence. Man, that's great. Sometimes when a fight is about to break out, I'll see one of them just go like, fuck. And the other person's like, what? Ouch. Like, whoa. And then they have to curse because they are experiencing pain. Yeah. Uh, and then it and becomes then they, a rap battle. And then it becomes that's how rap battle most cuss battles and rap battles and poem jams get started. Um, 
curse to get a laugh. Swearing with your friends can be fun. Exchanging curses without really meaning them is like a verbal toss and catch. Creating curses, creative hey, curses. Fuck. Are, 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 ass. Fuck. Ass. <laughs> Uh, use your A, B, or C list for this one. Combine curses. The odder the combination, the funnier. There's a picture with an example on it in this article that um, that uses sort of like punctuation marks for the cuss words, which seems like if you're trying to help me learn how to cuss, maybe like have the strength of your convictions to actually yeah, show the cuss it. words. Yeah. Um, and so the one that they've come up with, and I'll fill in the blanks with my own sort of cuss words. My fucking head feels like a fucking cantaloupe. Why? What? Why does it well, feel that way? Huh? And That's there's a weird thing for it to feel. And the three people in this picture are, are laughing. I'm trying to think of like what the the sort of delivery of this line. If we had like a like a like a very prestigious dramatic actor, uh, an Edward James almost, if you will, saying like, "My fucking head feels like I mean, a this fucking is a, cantaloupe." This is a Logan Roy. Justin, give me a Logan Roy read on this, please. My fucking head feels like a fucking cantaloupe. That was God damn really good, Juice. Whoa, Juice. whoa, whoa! Are Guys, you okay? I got a Logan Roy in here. No one move. <laughs> oh, wow. That was like Travis Cartman level. Yeah, that was the really Macquarie good. Brothers, master of impression. As long as you're not expecting it to be, you good. can't. And I, you can't the, think you, about the it. list of people not expecting it has to include yeah. the performer. Oh, yeah, right. just that's the swear to relieve tension after a close car, like a cl- close call, like like an accident. Do you guys want to know something? The, yeah, I have a second before I open my mouth. I knew it was there. <laughs> Whoa. I, just, Whoa. I knew, <laughs> I knew it was it. there. I just had to hold on because I knew it was there. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you could chan- never do it again. Hey, let's call it what it is. You channeled it. You did. It was You summoned it. You conjured it, which feels bad to do <sighs> on this episode. Yeah. Um, shouldn't be messing with those forces. Yeah. So- I, I'm, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. Swear softly, but with feeling to add emphasis to what you're saying. It shows that something is important to you. Swearing while playing a sport, for instance, is quite common. Uh, and but, the exa- but you're playing you're playing a sport, let's say football, and you sw- swear softly. Yeah. Dick, Fuck that dick, team. Dick, Fuck. Dick. Oh, punt. Shit. Oh, the punt. It goes wide. The field goal punt goes wide. Piss. Piss. Shit. Did you say something? No. 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 It's between um, me and my God. Cool example here that they've given is I've got to get my head out of my blank ass and oh, start get I got to get my head out of my ass and start getting my serves in. Now, what's cool about this picture? I'm guessing this is tennis. What's cool about this picture is that this dialogue is happening in what appears to be a hotel room. So this person's really going through it, huh? Yeah. This person's really having a hard time. You gotta leave it that all. on the court. You can't, it seems like he's struggling with that one element. I'm gonna do one last one, and that is swear for good business. You're sharing your true impressions with fellow workers. For your professional associates, cursing is a window into your thoughts. Um, are you sure? I thought, Griffin, you were gonna say swear for good, like to raise money for yeah, yeah. children, or yeah, to yeah. like protect an old lady from bullies, yeah, or yeah. to like build up a friend who's having a bad day. Yeah. You can use curse words for all kinds. Like you, you see some bullies advancing yeah. on an old lady, and you're like, hey, ass, 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 ass. fuck, they're shit, gone, dick, and they're, they're like, gone, they're gone, they're gone. Um, witty uses of course and casual swears boost morale and lower stress among low level workers, according to research. All right, I bet this research was done with a thoughtful a thoughtful hand. Research shows that the liberal use of four letter words allowed factory workers to bond over shared frustrations and to build solidarity. Fuck yeah. F- hey, fuck. Hey, Greg, fuck, right? Yeah, nice. that's right. Yeah. Oh my God, you're polishing those servos so fast now. Yeah, it's because you cussed, Dennis. Thank you And it that. made me feel happy. <laughs> I feel like I'm one with you, Dennis, because we're both low level in this industry and the cussing makes it go faster. Hey, the so one good thing about that. capitalism, we're allowed to cuss because we're adults. <laughs> we're definitely adults. And the image that they have, it has a man sitting at a laptop holding his temple. Um, he may be Professor Charles Xavier sort of channeling his abilities, but he says, let's get this damned thing finished and go home. Whoa, fuck yeah. No, let's be careful, because this guy doesn't look exactly, he doesn't look like a low-level factory worker. This looks like an but, exec, so these words aren't really for you, exec CEOs. Okay, But I'm yeah, saying, gotcha. if, if if there was a, a Pullman, I had to think for a second, as president, 
And he was like, let's get this damn thing finished and go home. That's a swell of music right there, baby. That's, yeah, I'm back. I'm in fucking Andor. I'm breaking out of the prison at that point. But if my CEO throws open the door to his office, which is like above us for some reason, and he's like, let's get this damn thing finished and go home. That's gonna slow me down. I'm gonna start so maybe not even top polishing down all the cursing surface. does suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's but rough. top up cursing. If he comes out, he's like, "How's it going?" Then everybody shells, "Fuck you, boss!" Fuck you, man. Like, I get it. Mm, that's uh, that's you guys really are good. always saying things like that to me. <laughs> yeah, always leaving me notes like that. Um, before we go to money zone, just yeah. real quick, I'm curious if we get on three, say the name of which brother we think curses the most, like. Yeah. Just on okay. average, right? So okay. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. We're going to yeah, count yeah, yeah. down or count out on three. One, yeah. two, three, name, right? You ready? Okay. Yeah. One, two, two three, three. Griffin. Griffin. Wow, Juice, really? Well, I curse around my kids a lot, so I feel like every oh. That's an interesting point. I cuss when I'm playing, when I'm, when I've put on the mask, when I've put on the mask of Griffin. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's when it, the that's character. when the cusses come out. The cusses are for you. The cusses are not for my little children cuz they are sweet beautiful porcelain angels. I need my kids to understand how to curse properly. It feels considering what we do guys, it feels so to for me everybody has to make their own parenting choices. Mm-hmm. Considering what we do, it feels so hypocritical for me to be like those are bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. Those are those, no no no, those are the fucking shirt on your back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to use how to learn how to use them properly. They've gotten They've gotten creative lately. Um, they they started calling each other winch. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> they, know, they know they'll get in trouble if they say something worse. Wow! So Cooper will be like, "You small winch! <laughs> I can't Whoa. believe you did! Oh, you Holy tiny shit. nothing winch!" She said that yesterday. So Brutal. you're you've created Shakespearean children. Yeah, you wastrel. Um, I'm just uh, glad we all know it's not me. I'm the yeah, good no. one. That's yeah, you beautiful. really don't do it a lot. Uh, I don't. I don't gonna, need it. No, you don't. I'm bigger than both of you. We're going to take a quick break. Spiritually, physically. Money zone. Hey, we're going to the money zone. Fuck. It's better. It's better with you. Hey, you guys know how everybody always needs stamps, but you can never, like, find them? You guys ever Mm -hmm. run into this? Absolutely. They're so small. They're so small. And sometimes, like, you stick them on that adorable kitten that your owner bought, and you're trying to send them to Abu Dhabi, right? But then uh, you put them in a, a box, and everyone's like, is that cat dead or not? And you're like, well, you have to look in the box. Right? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Sure, yeah. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Well, what if you could print stamps directly at home? And I'm not talking about the forgeries that Justin makes. I'm talking about real legal stamps. You swore. You oh, swore sorry. you wouldn't say. I'm sorry, I, Juice, I love your special edition Digimon stamps that you yes. make for for uh, for me and Travis exclusively. I I do wish that you would make them worth more than one cent because I've yeah. got to fucking use like eighty two of those guys now. Um, yeah. But with stamps.com, you can print them out right at home because with stamps.com, all you need is a computer and printer, and they even send you a free scale. So you'll have everything you need to get started. They have amazing partnerships with both USPS and UPS for unbeatable rates up to 84% off. That's almost 85% off. Plus, Stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping options. So avoid the hassle and get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code MYBROTHER, all one word, for a special offer that includes a four-week trial. That's almost a five-week trial, plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code MYBROTHER. Do you need to build an online marketplace through which you can sell your bootleg Digimon postal stamps? Yeah. Well, let me tell you what Justin did. He went to Mm Squarespace.com. He registered real digimon stamps.com with dot com. and go ahead and it was ahead and do d-o-t-c-o-m that. dot com yeah it really it's, it's real digimon stamps dot com dot com and he is able to use the squarespace pl- platform to stand out with a beautiful website he's always engaging with his very specific audience and he's selling it, anything but specifically his bootleg digimon postal stamps all hand um, drawn by the way all hand drawn it's incredible stuff you can he is able to create pro level videos effortlessly if he wanted to he hasn't yet 
that, but yeah. the Squarespace Video Studio app would let him make and share engaging videos to tell his story, which is a fucking barn burner, uh, and grow his audience and drive sales. Squarespace has powerful blogging tools for Justin to share stories, photos, videos, and updates of his new stamps that he's always got coming out. Oh, Categorize, wow. share, and schedule his posts, please. <laughs> Please, we're all asking websites, you. all websites, but specifically realdigimonstamps.com.com <laughs> is optimized for mobile. You spell the first dot com yeah. and then the yes. other and then yeah, obviously. As, so these stamps, they will automatically adjust. So because if you turn your phone sideways, stamps are tall. They'll get it figured out for you at Squarespace. So head to go to check out squarespace.com slash my brother for a free trial when you're and ready when- to launch. And when you do, Justin can also do this thing where he takes your pet and turns it into a Digimon and puts it on a stamp. It's That's adorable right. He'll come up and with illegal. a stat block and everything. Go to squarespace.com slash my brother for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code my brother to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Oh my gosh. Hi, it's me, Dave Holmes, host of the pop culture game show Troubled Waters. On Troubled Waters, we play a whole host of games like one where I describe a show using a limerick and our guests have to figure out what it is. Let's do one right now. What show am I talking about? This podcast has game after game and brilliant guests who come play you. The host is named Dave. It could be your fave. So try it. Life won't be the same. Uh, Big Business starring Bette Midler and Lily Tomlin. Close, but no. Oh, is it Troubled Waters, the pop culture quiz show with all your favorite comedians? Yes, Troubled Waters is the answer to this question and all of my life's problems. Now, legally, we actually can't guarantee that, but you can find it on MaximumFun.org or wherever you get your podcasts. Jay Keith, do you know what I love more than the trivia, comedy, and celebrity guests on our podcast, Go Fact Yourself? No, what, Helen? Sharing all of those things with an actual audience. A live audience. Woohoo! Well, lucky for you listeners, Go Fact Yourself has brand new episodes featuring live audiences cheering on guests every month. And we still have all of our Zoom episodes with contestants and experts from around the world. We can truly have it all. Yay! You can hear it all twice a month, every month on MaximumFun.org or wherever you get podcasts. Yeah, no excuses. So if you're not listening, you can go fact yourself. Yes. Oh, yes. I want to munch squad. I want to munch squad. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Oh, God. That was a pregnant pause, Juicer. Oh, Justin. It hurt you really so long. It really left an uncomfortable place for us. Uh, welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast within a podcast, uh, profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. So happy to have you back here on our show. Uh, I th- I was so excited when I heard about this story uh, about Wingstop. You guys have a Wingstop in your area? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like a wing joint. And I was so excited because they had Secret Invasion themed flavors awesome the, yeah right because apparently that mar disney's not even telling people when they do new shows a anymore secret. i think they're keeping it a secret yeah and this this one really is a secret because i had no idea until this actually brought me the awareness of this event and wingstop had two flavors and then the press release for it is like nothing i mean it's a nothing burger it's so disappointing so I started to look around, hoping there would be more details. And I found a story about the new Wingstop Secret Invasion thing on The Sun. And the Wait, story was where? about the sun, the U.S. Sun, not the sun. Oh. The sun. The American the US, sun that shines yes, exclusively on our incredible nation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Um, so, this is, so they did a story about this, too. And I thought their story was notable enough that I wanted to bring it for your consideration. This is fun. We've never done secondhand. This is like when they used to read the newspaper on TV news. Uh, this yeah. is great. Buffalo Wild Wings rival adds two new items as part of Secret Invasion menu. <gasps> Fuck! Wow. Whoa, Whoa shots Sorry. called. What did you say? That's intense. Fired That's across intense the bow. That's intense right? 
A popular chicken chain and Buffalo Wild Wings rival. This is the story. <laughs> a popular chicken chain and Buffalo Wild Wings rival has added two flavors to the menu. The restaurant is celebrating. They still have not Haven't identified. Haven't said wings this is yet. bonkers. Did Buffalo Wild Wings pay for this story to run? It I don't like I, y'all. I don't know. Um, the restaurant is celebrating the launch of Marvel C- uh, series Secret Invasion. Wingstop has launched two new flavors for customers to add to their chicken wings or chicken sandwiches. Neither one of them as good as Buffalo Wild Wings flavors. Yeah, (laughs) they pale in comparison. Wingstop has launched two new flavors for customers to add to their chicken wings or chicken sandwiches. Customers can now choose from the following options when ordering via the Wingstop app or at wingstop.com only. Secretly Sweet which is a mango habanero and tangy citrus balanced with rich Asian flavors. Don't mind if and I do. flavor invasion. Savory garlic tossed with bold Cajun seasoning and buttery Parmesan. That Don't mind great. if I also yeah. do. Thank uh, you very much. Great. I'll take both. Thank you. Six both of both. flavors have a maximum spice rating of three flames out of three. Okay. But Wait. Here's the thing. Yeah. that's That seems quite spicy. Well, it's the maximum, Griffin. So it's the hottest thing that there could possibly be. The options are part of the store secret menu, and only customers who are logged in will be able to see the flavors. So if you're just browsing, forget about it. You can't get them. But you I wait. Be... But I can get them at the store, right? No, they're a secret. They're a secret. If oh, you ask man. the employees, they'll call the cops. They'll say, "Shut the fuck Damn up! It. What are you doing, Nick? Nick Fury, get out here! We got someone else for you to kill." Including these new additions, Wingstop customers can choose from a total of 14 flavors. Or, and it says this in the story, including these new two, adi- two new additions, Wingstop customers can choose from a total of 14 flavors or get their chicken plain. Huh. Sure, yeah. It's I nice mean, to can. know that the option is there because sometimes I worry that I'm going to ask for it plain and they're going to be like, we actually legally can't, can't do that. Yeah. Can't do that. So You'll th- have to hurry as secretly sweet and flavor invasion will only be available through July 9th. So we could start our own sort of chicken chain called Thigh Town. And in mm-hmm. Thigh Town, it's all about the bird. That's the that's the motto. Oh, that's we celebrate good. You, you come on into Thigh Town where it's all about the bird. Do we have sauces? Yes. They're all yeah. secret. And we're we're gonna look at you like, ooh, you wanna sauce up our bird? It's pretty good without. Are you sure about that? We are Thigh Town. We specialize in the bird. Okay, I guess so. It's your it's your mouth. It's your mouth is also a really it's great your tagline. Mouth is a good thigh one. town. It's your mouth. It's your mouth. That's and cool because it references two different body parts, and so people are like, "What? What? We couldn't what call it stop? Mouth Town. That's already mm. taken by the music shop across the street. Mouth Town. It's your thigh." <laughs> the, the story continues. Wingstop chain is one of several rivals to Buffalo Wild Wings, which itself. <laughs> hey, listen, somebody's got to run a story about this. Uh, hey, Derek, <laughs> your dad owns a Buffalo Wild Wings, right? You write about this. Uh, which itself just launched two new flavors this month. Since June 1st, Buffalo Wild Wings customers have been able to choose from <laughs> general sauce. <laughs> and sweet chili lime sauces. These Our sauces limit- kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> Our new limited edition sauces embody the perfect fusion of sweet, spicy, and savory that's perfect to enjoy throughout the summer, said Tristan Maline, the chief marketing officer at Buffalo Wild Wings, and my dad. No, <laughs> <laughs> hey. However, it is unclear how long these flavors will stay on the menu. Okay. Wingstop isn't the only fast food joint to add some Marvel-themed menu items in recent weeks. Yeah, clearly. Clearly. Burger King also got into a Marvel mood with the launch of its new Spider-Man Whopper in May. Did you guys have one of those, by the way? No. I haven't. No, I didn't. okay. Me neither. I haven't, uh, uh, because I don't even know where a Burger King is. I don't know the last time I saw one. Released to celebrate the new Spider-Man movie, uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, the sandwich controversially features a red bun. Yes. We We've did talk talked about, about this. It. We've talked about this. Right. Despite some critics online saying they would never try it, the burger has been so popular that it has been selling out in many stores. Well, Meanwhile, McDonald's is making some key improvements to its signature. Fu- Can you imagine being the PR guy for, for Wingstop? And they're, they're talking about a fucking another place? How many <laughs> rest is our story? I'm sorry we only wrote a two-paragraph press release that didn't even say something like, get ready for a mission, a flavor... 
get ready for a flavor mission, agent, because <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> something, man. We this tried to do a normal squad. one. You're and, not going to get the call up to the big show if you don't have a quote from Samuel Jackson yeah. talking about these motherfucking wings are so motherfucking deli- something, yeah. you know? Like, you got a curse. My motherfucking curse. head feels like a motherfucking cantaloupe. I'm going to fucking die over here. <laughs> Please fucking help me. Why are you, you laughing? Be- I could tell you how old I am and you would not believe it. God, right. I love these wings. God, these wings are good. You guys want another question? Or? Yeah, I'd love another question. 70, wow, 74. No, I told you. Incredible. I told you. No matter how old Samuel L. Jackson is, it, that number will never stop, uh, will never stop amazing me. Um, it was amazing. Uh, okay, here is our next question. My next door neighbor was making a fountain feature in his front yard to cover the spot where he couldn't go grass. I have a bunch of random gravel in my yard. I told him he could take all he needed. He took one of my big decorative rocks and put it in his fountain, which honestly, whatever, it's just a rock. Hey, listen. Here's the kick. It's okay. This is a we understand. You're coming yeah. to our house. We understand this. You don't have to couch it. Yeah. Here's the kicker. He's now telling the neighbors that the rocks in my yard are free. <laughs> oh my God. Brothers, how do I possibly handle telling the neighborhood that my home decor is not fair game? That's from Walk and Walk and Wool in Waterloo. That's really good. <laughs> really straining for the uh, alliteration the there. I respect it. Um, yeah, you see your neighbor that took the rock talking to a different neighbor. And as soon as walk, you walk, what did he say? What did he say? What did he tell you? Was you he talking about my rocks? Right now. Oh, fuck that guy. Um, you see signs sometimes, especially in this area, a lot of like free firewood, like firewood free or like on a couch, right? You'll see like, Free when that really means trash. Yeah, but yeah. like sometimes it'll say free. Um, I don't. You don't see a lot of signs that are like not free. Not free. <laughs> like not free. Not free would probably co- not free would actually probably draw more attention. That I wouldn't even have thought about stealing your rocks, but then I see a sign that's like not free. It's like what don't I know? Well, yeah, then I'm making an offer. Now I'm like, okay, yeah. so what? Like ten bucks, twenty. How much did he uh, offer? I'll go up higher. Up for bid. Up for bid. Uh, yeah. up for it. Or best offer. F- not free OBO. <laughs> Just off the top of my head, I'm going to say scorpions. If you sort of introduce a colony of scorpions into your front yard, yeah. who anytime someone picks up a rock, there's just a big, juicy, nasty looking scorpion under there. They're going to they're gonna hightail it. Immediately. Well, Scorpions then you only need. Good. Then you only need one scorpion. It sounds like a scorpion who's okay. Like, so if you okay, Travis, this is a good point. If you have one real honey pot of a rock, a yeah. real just a glistening, like just a geode. geode. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, God, you guys. Uh, and you put your biggest, nastiest fucking scorpion under there. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a good point. You're only going to need the one scorpion. Well, sorry. You'll need a lot of that one scorpion because my response, if I pick up a big rock and I see a scorpion underneath it that is looking like he's going to attack me, then, the, then I'm going to do something with my hands that would be very easy to make that scorpion now a non-threat. This oh, good world's luck. scary. He's got a fuck. carapace, my dude. Yeah, but this this geode's fucking huge, dude. Ah, uh, that's true. But that's Tank, man. Tank's been through fucking worse. Yeah, that's true. He's a hard ass butt and he's trained, right? Yeah. So he can also come inside. Because once he's done his job once and word gets around there's a scorpion there, yeah. Tank's out of a job. Now he comes in and he lives with you. Now yeah. he's your friend. What about a scare guy? A scare guy. Ooh, that's good. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a scarecrow, but it's just a guy. And he sits out by the rocks, and he looks very eager to talk about something. Like, so this is a real human guy. Yeah, mm, you no, understand. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a, it's a, like a mannequin or made of straw, but he's got so a So scarecrow of, then, right? Because a scarecrow is not, not a crow. crow. Scaring crows. Scarecrows, scarecrows, scare guys, scare guys. And it That's will the have mnemonic like, Justin uses to remember. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a little I invented that. Um and you what you do is you give them like a bunch of pamphlets for the Church of Latter-day Saints or uh-huh. something like that and it's like That's huge. if you know if you get too close to this guy, he's going to be like, "Do you know where you go when you die?" Yeah. So I <laughs> and then maybe you put, you put a voice you put a voice box in it. So if motion yeah, yeah. active gets too close, you know where you go when you die? And then they're not going to get anywhere near your no, rocks no. cuz you got a scare guy. Out there. I I guess sort of my hang up here juice is that we use a, ab- you're kind of kind of 
think really hard before you no, say No, no, no. I, th- I have. I've thought about it really it's hard. Not, okay, good. I, I was listening to everything you were saying. It didn't <laughs> change Bruce, it. But go ahead. When you scare crows, you need a fake guy to do it. Yeah. When yeah. you scare guy, maybe you need a big fake crow to do it. And when people get too close to the fake crow, it can you say like, you, you know where you go when you die? Okay. Okay, guys. Here's... I'm going to actually... Cut. It would work. It would work. I, I would not go anywhere near those rocks. fucking rocks. Here's the thing, guys. There's flaws in both your plans that I'm going to combine and make There's it work. There's two perfect plans. There's you're two gonna really make good plans. Up. If you're, you're not coming with us so with a, three, a third great plan, Travis, then what are you doing? Never I'm combining both your plans to make a beautiful melange of okay, a okay, third okay, better plan. Let's After see. a while, Justin, people are going to start to catch on that your scare guy is a mannequin. He hasn't moved. Right, they're yeah. gonna notice. But then what's that? It's been like a week. What's that giant bird doing on the roof? And then week three, scare guy is gone. He's been taken oh, by the okay. bird. Hey. Why don't we replace scare the scare like why don't we replace the guy with the crow? And then the crow will say, This is where I went when I died. And it's oh, like he just got yeah. reincarnated as the giant crow. Yeah. That protects your rock. Now I do not know how that fits into the message of the Church of Latter day Saints. Yeah, <laughs> but it's gonna make a fucking sick crow graphic novel series. Hell and I'm yeah, pitching it, it right here. It's gonna be awesome. TM yeah. TM TM. TM 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 TM. TM 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 TM. You fucked up scare. so you fucked up so bad. They fucked up worse. I'm not no saying question. that they didn't. To, no question. No question. To go, the the audacity of this, to go to your neighbors and be like, hey, you want some free rocks? Because this guy gave me some, which must mean that all of his shit, that means you can tear his house down plank by plank and take whatever the Did fuck you, you want. They also took the wrong rocks, though. This guy had decorative rocks. And yeah, the, if you but, said gravel and they took a big rock. A big, beautiful I'll take, rock. I'll tell me? you exactly how it went. It went like this. Hey, do you mind if I say you have some extra gravel? Uh, if if I use some of it. And then I'm betting, question asker, you said the phrase, yeah, take whatever you want. Mm, that's, I would And what you that. meant, I what you meant of the gravel, but what they right, heard. Then he thought, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And so I'll, you, ha- I'll have your son to I'll, raise as my own. Yeah. Give me your Xbox now <laughs> for my yard. I think, question asker, the real villain in the tale, as I'm rereading the question, let's see if we can let's see if we can find it's them. Capitalism. I have a bunch of random gravel in my yard, and I told him oh. he could take any that he needed. Here's what I'm gonna say to you. Mind your own fucking business. Yes. <laughs> you wandered right at <laughs> this. Nobody asked you to intercede. You yeah. made a connection, and that was no, your but, mistake. Yeah. And hey, no. hey, what the fuck are you doing with two different types of rocks in your yard? Yeah. Pick one. Yeah. Just, a, type of of just a big Pick rock. One. Huh? Leave some rocks for the rest of us there. Uh, thank you so much for listening to our podcast, My Brother, My Brother, and Me. We hope you've enjoyed yourself. Uh, thank you to the hordes and hordes of people who I imagine came out to Richmond and Raleigh this past weekend. It, we're recording this before the thing. But I have to imagine it was like Beatles mania level. That means so much to us. Thank you. I'm sorry th- to all the people who got trampled. But like, man, it's your fault. You know, you run with it's the big fault, dogs. Man. You're going to get I, trampled. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody that came out and saw the uh, the SpongeBob musical. I met a couple from uh, Lexington. I met some folks from Charleston who came in just to watch the show. This is the last weekend. I'll be there. If you if you come into town, please say hi. If you go to SpongeBobWV.com, Sydney and I directed the show. You can get tickets there. And it's like, it's a hoot and a half. And I'll be there and I would love to see you. And thank you very, very much for, for considering the trip. Everyone who's seen it says the best thing they've since Cats on Broadway. Great. Um, but there's a, just a little bit more time to get merch for the month of June. Shilbethany Penn, thanks for vibing, keeping it tight. Tank top. We got the Sawbones commemorative coin, and 10% of all merch proceeds this month will go to Equality Florida, which is dedicated to securing full equality for Florida's LGBTQ community. Uh, just just a few more days for some of that stuff, and then we'll have new stuff in July. And then uh, we also have some more shows in the 20 Sun and Sea Surf, the Vibe Tour, San Diego. We're coming there for Comic Con July 21st and 22nd. Seattle, we're going to be up there for PAX August 31st and September 1st. New York Comic Con, October. 12th and October 13th we're going to be doing shows uh, tickets for San Diego and Seattle are on sale now you can get info and ticket links at bit.ly slash McElroy tours and Trav you got something coming up yeah I, yeah um, so actually next weekend or this weekend yeah if you're listening to this on the 26th this weekend I'm going to be at Supercon in Miami um, a portion of that is going uh, to Equality Florida and I'm going to be at Gen Con August 3rd through 6th 
bit.ly slash McElroy Tours will give you all the details uh, for Gen Con and such. Touring the page. Hey, everybody. Yeah, I'm touring a lot. Yeah. Travis is a road dog. You got to get out there and see him. He's also the best of us at this. He's so very good at you it. You should go see Travis. Thanks to Montaigne for the Israel theme song, My Life is Better With You. Great jam, great bop, great slammer, great jammer. Um, and now, Speaking of great about. jam and great bop, it's time. My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm out of breath. I'm Griffin McElroy. This <laughs> is my brother, my brother, me kissing your dad square on the lips. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.